According to Rocio Ortega, the campaign associate, the campaign was introduced in different African countries in 2015. They have a committee of chosen counselors that engage with the girls to help them boost their skills in areas such as essential leadership, public speaking, advocacy and self-esteem. For two weeks, these girls are going in 10 STEAM classes from experts in the field like Intel and Google and NASA. But the fun part about this camp is that because it's all teenage girls who are in high school, of course they also need time to have fun. And that's where we have amazing counselors like me and the people here around me. A lot of the times, Girl Up um, really encourages a lot of these girls to pursue these careers because perhaps they don't have that support system at home, in their schools or in their community. So we're here to tell them that they can be whatever they want to be and we want to make sure that they have access to STEAM uh, mentors and classes. The essential part about this Women in Science Girls STEAM camp is that we're making a strong statement wherever we go and that's to say that girls are the future and that they are the leaders that they want to be and I know that this incredible work couldn't have done, been done just by Girl Up. It really takes a true public and private partnership between the U.S. State Department, Intel, Google, and of course the amazing counselors around me who are working with the girls every day. Counselors said engaging with the girls was easy as they've been fully participating and cooperative. We started off very uh, strongly. Everybody was really enthusiastic to be a part of this. The teaching process has been amazing. The girls have been learning, they have been listening, they have been communicating. The main um, theme is cross-cultural learning and they've been engaging with each other. The teaching process has been interesting in the sense that as much as you come in with the idea that you're just coming to impart knowledge on the girls, you learn so much from them as well, especially with the cross-cultural learning. Um, there's so many things that you didn't know about how girls are learning in Ethiopia, for instance, or in Kenya, and the movements that girls are taking in their countries and how those can be replicated in Namibia, for example. A few of the girls shared their experience with Today on One. And this camp has been educative because I've learned coding. I've learned how to build a small robot, Wally, for those Disney fans. It almost looks like Wally. And I've also been taught um, how to make music using codes. And it has also been empowering, encouraging, and educative because now I know women can do hard stuff in the STEM field. And I know women can actually be leaders and can actually help girls back in our communities. So why I say camp 2018, we've actually been able to We've actually been able to learn a lot of things. We've actually done um, app making. We've also learned how to make music. And yesterday we were making robots with Intel. So I wasn't um, really sure what I would um, wanted to become or what I wanted to study. And this program helped me realize that um, technology and science can be one of my options. And I am really looking forward to becoming an engineer now, thanks to YSI. Thank you, YSI. The girls will be awarded with certificates on Thursday for their participation in the YSI campaign.